Okay, so this is, I guess, technically day three of the dairy experiment. Um, things are going okay. I really honestly don't feel that much different. My skin doesn't look that much different. This is only the third day, so let's just see if, it, if there's any other changes that happen. But um, not that much has changed. Things are pretty much the same. Um, feeling pretty good. Um, let's think. Uh, what did I eat? So let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Um, I'm feeling good. That little pain in my ovary is still kind of there, which is nervy. It makes me feel nervous. Um, today I had like a smoothie with uh, almond butter and protein powder and almond milk. Almond milk just pretty much substitutes milk. When I come, except for the cheese thing, there's no cheese. We were the biggest, we used to live in um, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and when we lived there, um, we were the number one milk drinking family of the entire city. We drank more milk than anybody in the entire city, and um, they delivered it to our door because they were so impressed with how much milk we drank. So, I like milk, and it's been, I mean, I don't, I'm not, not noticing too much of a difference. I still, I still feel like maybe a little bit of a congestion. Um, my lips are a little bit, you know, they're back to normal for whatever reason. I didn't really um, sleep that much, so I'm kind of like a little bit tired, but overall, feeling good, feeling like I can do this, but also, at the same time, like, I guess it's like I'm not like, just, I'm just not unconsciously eating. It's like it's, it's forcing me to have self-control, that's what I'm realizing. So I think I need self-control maybe more than the dairy thing but um i'm still i'm still working on it um i noticed that my i had some fried stuff yesterday i had some fried sushi you know with like fish in it so that was like protein um and fish but it was fried but you know I'm, i haven't done the dairy it's the third day um i got a cookie today it's a, it looks i love vegan desserts i was vegan for like a while like eight months, but I like, wasn't doing it healthily. Like I just really want to like chart and like understand exactly what's going on, right? So this is a cookie. It looks good. It's like a, da a d vegan dairy-free cookie or something. That's good. And then some kombucha. The quote says, "Love offers victory every time." So yeah, I don't know. Like. I, I can't help but wonder about like, you know, just like the beautiful cow milk and all that. I'm interested in this thing called breatharianism. I know that some people think it's crazy and for seven days when I was living in New Zealand, I um, didn't, I fasted and I didn't eat food. And these breatharian people claim that they don't ever eat food, meaning they haven't eaten food in 40 years. And that, like, not to say that I don't want to do that because obviously I want to enjoy my human experience and, like, I'm grateful for, like, all, like, the senses and, like, you know, the ability to, like, enjoy, like, life as on a human level. But there are people that are claiming to not have eaten for 40 years. And I know that's controversial and I know people get, like, that's absurd as against science, all this stuff, which is, like, yes, I agree. But all, and I'm curious, like, why are these people saying that it's happening? And if that's the case, like, what does that mean for science? What does that mean for who we are? Like, so not to like, like bring any alarms, but um, trying with dairy, you know, Ariel mentioned, I'm gonna give it a week and then try it with gluten. You know, they say like gluten gives you grain brain, which is like a belly bloat, or 